For one more example for this section, what we're going to do is find an equation for the tangent line to the curve. R of t equals component functions t, t squared, t cubed, at the point 2, 4, 8. Now with that in mind, in order for us to find the equation of any line, we always need the same two things. We'll need a direction vector and we'll need a point. The direction vector we don't yet have, but we do have a point. And the point that we have is 2, 4, 8. Now in order for us to get the direction vector, what we are going to need is the tangent vector. And we're going to need it at the point 2, 4, 8. Now when you're given 2, 4, 8, what you're really being given is x, y, and z. Translating those back into your component functions for the curve, what we're really saying is that t is 2, t squared is 4, and t cubed is 8, setting the corresponding components or coordinates equal to each other. Now, you're welcome to solve any one of these for t, Well, let's be honest, um, I'm going to solve that one for t because, well, it's already done. So, in order for us to get that direction vector, we're going to need to take a derivative and then we'll plug in t equals 2. I stuck with power rule because I'm feeling exceptionally lazy today. Differentiating each of these three component functions, we'll get 1, 2t, and 3t squared. Plugging in the value of the parameter, that'll be r prime of 2, is equal to. Plugging in t equals 2 for each of these, we'll get 1. 2 times 2 is 4 and 3 times 2 squared is 3 times 4, that is 12. So this will count as the direction vector for our line. Then bringing in the different versions that we can have for the equation of a line. Parametric form is where we express it in the form x equals, y equals, and z equals. <clears throat> All three of these should take the same form, which is starting point. Starting point was 2, 4, 8 plus direction vector component times t. So for x, that'll be 1t. For y, that'll be 4t. And for z, that'll be 12t. In its symmetric form, we would solve each of these for t, and that would be our answer. So that'll be x minus 2 is equal to y minus 4 over 4, which is equal to z minus 8 over 12. Again, just solve each of these for t and set them all equal to each other for the symmetric form of our final answer.